Hello guys, Big Head Django here bringing you this week's guide for the trial, Artistic Expression. If you are looking for stock look tunes with some of the best performance then you've come to the right place. Feel free to join the Discord server for the credits giveaway, constantly giving away credits for junk cars. And if you find this video useful, be sure to subscribe, like, comment. You can also follow me in-game on Xbox or Reddit. So let's get started with the first trial, the Stadio Circuit, starting in the middle of the player grid. For the first trial, I'm not actually driving one of my own tunes. It's a tune made by Atomega3846. Be sure to give them a follow if you find that useful. It's a pretty good tune for the 1960 Corvette. Heading into the first corner, my path is completely blocked by the AI. Everything is a bit chaotic managed to get through that but accidentally ride mud bean through that second corner of course they're quickly going to return the favor slammed into the wall there off to the first straight and mud bean goes slamming into the barrier unable to maintain control it can be pretty tricky to maintain control going down a straight so understandable up to this really fast corner go really wide there taking out someone's fence coming up to the chicane actually managed to get through this pretty nicely despite what we just went through now coming up to the final set of corners breaking hard trying to maintain the inside line trying to stay on the inside for the checkpoints Losing a bit of traction here, my teammates following suit. And that's the first lap done. Of course the AI as always using a B class car in a C class trial so that's always fun. First lap is done, coming up in the first corner. Try to slide the car through this one because that's gonna help you maintain the maximum speed. And for the second corner you want to slide as much as you can over the grassy sidewalk there. Now back down the straight, coming up to the high speed turn, actually make a mess of it by braking for some weird reason when I didn't really have to. Now the trick to this chicane is to come in fast and hard, brake hard and as you do that try to position the car for the next checkpoint. This will put you in the optimal path through the next corner without sacrificing too much speed. The second lap is done. AI is still quite a bit of ways. Probably not going to be able to catch it. Team is winning. Thankfully this is a relatively easy trial this week. I do run the trial multiple times every week. And this is the first trial in several weeks where I've constantly teamed up with good players all around. Of course being said in C-Class does help out. Don't manage to take the lead, but that's alright. Team still wins the race. So, for the second race, I am using my own tune now. However, it's a front wheel drive Acura Integra. 
unfortunately I'm starting at the back of the grid now I did try and get a good launch in but I think the wet weather makes the launch a lot slow anyways this being a front wheel drive car it is quite slow uh, after corners doesn't have a very good launch takes a bit of time to get up to speed however it has incredibly good grip through corners so you can take the majority of high speed corners at full throttle without ever going off road or without ever going too wide so here i am you can see it in action just just going really fast through every single one of these turns whereas my teammates are having to brake or slow down considerably So coming up to the first hard corner and I do go really wide here but that's alright, completely on purpose. All of my leading teammates however decide to introduce themselves to the barrier, managed to slip into third place here. And now you can see the difference in acceleration, quantum balance starting from a dead stop and I'm still unable to pass them at slow speeds. I shouldn't have used the handbrake on this corner, I did manage to get in, I would have managed to get out. I don't know why I did that. Getting a nice little bump there from the Chevrolet ZR2. Bunch of very high speed straights thrown in between just a few corners in this space. At this point, you get to see at high speeds is where this car starts to shine. So as long as you don't chicken out and brake before the turns, just plow through them, trust the car, you are going to make up a lot of time and be faster overall. Now coming up to the final hard corner in the race and the Reliance Supervan, I don't know, or seen Bobcat, I think they might have instinctively hit rewind, even though they didn't really miss a checkpoint there and I do manage to take the lead so started in 12th finishing in second behind the AI that's not bad and now coming up to this high speed corner and full throttle turn and hard doesn't even go off road on the exit of course quantum balance right behind me introducing themselves to the shack and that's it another easy win for the team moving on to the last race starting in pole position for the team which is going to help me out a bit because the aim of the last race is to win it and we do need to slow down the AI in order to do that coming up to the first banked corner you can either break hard of course there's always a chance that a teammate is going to ram you so you can also wall right through this corner without losing too much time or speed so keep that in mind if you're uncomfortable or, or if you're playing with teammates who really aren't very good now this is a tricky corner you want to break and turn in early you don't want to go too wide on this corner because there's a tire sticking out of the wall for some reason that just completely brings you to a dead stop and for this next turn you want to go a bit to the right and then turn in this will allow you to maintain high speeds but also watch out to not turn in too much because those poles are going to slow you down quite a bit first lap almost complete gonna take second position here through the start finish line feather the throttle here a bit 
just to give you better turn in as well as traction going to take first place in a bit brake hard and turn in just a little too wide in order to block the AI which is right behind me now I'm gonna work on slowing down the AI because I the team is winning but it's always better to have a guaranteed win instead of just relying on your teammates not messing up. Demis has managed to catch up and they do manage to pass the AI get ahead of me. But they seem to be pretty slow here for some reason. I can't quite make out. Mim NST right behind me along with other gamer name. So I'm not quite sure what's going on here at this point. I, I'm trying to give them a pretty good opening to pass me but they, they just do not seem to be interested. I get rear ended loose control a bit there. Still huge opening but that's it other gamer doesn't seem interested in passing me and I and I honestly don't know what they're doing and AI manages to get past me so now I have to put it back in its place other gamer losing control dropping a few positions I am still trying to slow down the AI create a safe space between my teammates and the AI. This is always going to be a tricky corner because you come in fast and you don't want to go too wide. You want to try and stay inside so break as much as you can in order to stay on the inside and I'm gonna be on <laughs> and here's the thing I didn't realize that we were on the last lap I didn't really have to slow down the AI at all because of that I'm really slow coming out of the last corner and the AI is coming up really fast behind me I swerve to try and block the AI prevent them from blasting past me at the final point in the race gotta secure that one and there you go so the last track is a bit technical try to get that lead or at least third position slow down the air help you out your teammates and that's it so i hope you found this useful drop a like subscribe for more Forza horizon 5 content comment and let me know how the trial went for you this is big head jango and i will see you next time